if you want politicians and parliaments that do not think they are unaccountable and the highest authority in the universe, as we have seen them do for decades, and especially this decade. Humility underneath Almighty God is what we want. Can you imagine a parliament filled with humble politicians? It seems counterintuitive. But can you imagine a voting population filled with humble voters who aren't seeking to line their own pockets or to benefit their own circumstances, but are seeking to love their neighbours, seeking to benefit the nation, seeking to promote a genuine objective truth and morality in this nation. That kind of citizenship, that kind of virtuous character can only come from a culture full of individuals whose hearts are humbled and submitted beneath the Lordship of Jesus Christ, humbly relying on the blessing of Almighty God. We need a reformation of culture. We need a spiritual reformation. We need a cultural reformation. And these will lend themselves to a political reformation, which will last for generations. Generations which will set Australia well to advance into the rest of this century and the one after that, just as it did in 1901. And from which we have been departing for the last 50 years and wonder why there is so much depression, suicide, mental health conditions, uh, financial oppression, uh, people lining up in queues for free or cheap food. Uh, we have a nation which has uh, ridiculous uh, suicide rates, uh, ridiculous homelessness, uh, ridiculous uh, lack of flourishing, uh, lack of justice. There is competition and striving, polarization, friction and anger and hatred between so many camps. Everybody has been... Uh, split off and, and fractionalized into different minority groups, care of the advent of cultural Marxism, which is all about creating and maximizing conflict between people. We see cancel culture, which is the opposite of Christianity. It is full of, of unforgiveness, resentment. This is blacktivism, uh, this uh, rehearsed uh, victimhood which uh, seeks to uh, accumulate power at the expense of others instead of uh, promoting forgiveness and understanding genuine tolerance of, of people and uh, genuine uh, criticism 